Thanks for joining us on Bally News Live. Just sitting here contemplating the forecast tonight at yet another uh, hardworking Cashwise Backyard Barbecue. The weather, delightful for a swing in the backyard, a barbecue, or whatever you want. But there are some big-time changes coming our way. Let's start with your current conditions. As we take a look at Hector right now, we are hot. We have a lot of upper 80s across the region, including still here in the FM area. Temperatures 86 degrees. Southwest winds are blowing at 8 miles per hour. And that dew point is sticky, making it feel a little humid out here, 62. As we look into Grand Forks, crystal clear skies, 88 degrees on the thermometer. It feels like 89 with the heat index out there. And it's a south-southwest breeze trying to cool you off at 10 miles per hour. A lot of 80s, basically for everyone. Low 80s from Wadena. Upper 80s, Grand Forks. And look at the Devil's Lake Basin, 86 for Devil's Lake and... 86 in Langdon as well. Jamestown, you have 83 degrees. So everyone's in the 80s right now. As we take a look at what's going on on the radar, we do have a spotty shower and thunder shower activity showing up just from time to time near Minot. And as we take you out a little bit farther, we have more activity working its way through portions of Alberta and Manitoba right now. There is a crisp, cool front working its way out of the Edmonton area tonight. And when this one comes through, we're going to know it. Things will get a little bit noisy, and afterwards, we'll be a lot less sticky and humid. Let's take a look at your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. As we head through the evening, I think all of us stay quiet. We're talking about temperatures in the 80s through at least sunset and maybe beyond for some of us. Now, as we do see the model drawing a chance of some thunder showers in northeast North Dakota primarily tonight, I do not expect them to be severe, and I don't think they'll be this widespread. We might see a couple of thunder showers coming through between now and 10 o'clock. Overnight, we could have rumbles of thunder here and there, mainly up north as we set this into motion. Temperatures will cool into the 60s, but only the upper 60s, so not a lot of uh, refreshing cooling relief overnight. Look what happens for the first part of our day. Look at the screen on the left side, that big red blob. As we set it into motion, there'll be a chance of that thing meandering across the region. And wherever that big red blob decides to move will probably limit afternoon thunderstorm development because of the cooler temperatures there. But in the south, where we get a little bit of sun, the humidity, and the heat, that combination is going to fire off some thunderstorms as we head into the evening hours. And a few of these could be strong to severe as temperatures will fall out of the mid-80s into the 70s. The wind becomes northerly, and then everything's about to change as we head into the close of our work week. So tomorrow, pay attention to weather. Download your VNL weather app and take it with you no matter where you are. Slight risk generally means we'll see a few severe thunderstorms capable of large hail, damaging wind, and an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Notice on your hour-by-hour -hour forecast for Fargo, we'll have scattered showers and thunderstorm chances on and off throughout the afternoon as we see temperatures rise into the low 80s at best. Wind eventually becomes northerly, and take a look at what it does to temperatures. But first, your hometown forecast. 79 tomorrow afternoon at Detroit Lakes. Good chance of strong thunderstorms for all of our counties along and south of I-94, but up to the north. Looks like a gray, cool day with temperatures falling into the 70s by the early afternoon. All right, now a look at a gorgeous photo. Take a look at this moon set. This was taken in Hankinson. Al uploaded it to Valley News Live. Why don't you go to valleynewslive.com, upload your photos. We'd love to share them on our background of the seven-day forecast. Take a look at Friday. Morning showers and thunderstorms continue. We could have afternoon thunderstorms redevelop, but it does look like much cooler weather for Fargo and even cooler up north. Saturday and Sunday is when we'll really feel it. We're talking about temperatures that will peak in the 60s up north and 70s south, and a few could see morning temperatures in the upper 30s. That's a crisp slap of fresh air across the region. Then next week, we gradually warm up just a little bit to feel a little more summer-like before everyone gets back to school. So from the Cashwise Backyard Barbecue, I got to check in with a few of, uh, of our invitees tonight. What did you think about all the steak we had? Very good. All right. What did you think? Wow, it was amazing. Are you really excited about back to school? <laughs> no. Not really. Okay. Would you rather do a backyard barbecue every week? Always. Okay. Well, that's good. There you have it from the experts here. Uh, in Mapleton tonight, back to the studio for you guys. I got to get back to work. That chair needs some repair. He's a, he's working hard. Yeah, he always yeah. does. <laughs> always. <laughs> Thank you, Hutch. Haircuts take center stage today in sports as a local NFL player meets the Shears in Denver. Beth explains later in sports. But first, are you a swan hunter? If so, you need to get your application in very soon. We'll explain.